Curious about the indirect signals guys will give you if they like you and see you more than just a friend? Want to know the sneaky ways he'll test you to see if you like him back? If you're asking yourself, does he like me? I've got all those signs coming to you right now. Hey everyone, I'm dating and relationship coach Ryan Patrick. Ooh, have we got a fun one today. Now I'm gonna hop right into the 10 signals you absolutely need to know about that a guy gives you to show you that he likes you. But first, it's launch day y'all. That's right, the Boyfriend Blueprint is now open for enrollment. If you're ready to make that investment in yourself and simplify your dating lives, then this course is most certainly for you. Guys, just head on over to boyfriendblueprint.com slash enroll right now. And if you guys want to get the absolute best deal on this course, it is today. Just use promo code EARLYBIRD in checkout and get $160 off the price of the course. So if you're watching this video after Monday, August 17th, that just means my 24 hour early bird special ended. So instead, just use BBYT100 as your promo code instead and receive $100 off the cost of the course. And for those of you who have wanted to work with me directly, I have 25 spots available, guys. They're going to go quickly. So just make sure you get over there right now and reserve yours today. Course enrollment's only gonna be over open this week, guys, so make sure you get over there and reserve your spot. It's boyfriendblueprint.com slash enroll. Now, let's get to those 10 signs he likes you and sees you more than just an acquaintance or a friend. The first sign is he's pushing to hang out with you. Now, if this guy's your friend or someone that you know, sure, he's gonna wanna hang out because you guys are buds. Usually, friendly hangouts when it comes to men and women take place in groups. But if he likes you, likes you, he's just gonna wanna hang out with you. If you notice that you never really have to initiate texts with him or you find that he's the main driver of the conversation between you two, he's digging on you. And if you've never seen a video from me before, if this is your first time, and you've never heard me say, stay away from coworkers and roommates, let me just say that now. And please subscribe below. The second sign is he has a unique nickname for you. Now, when I say unique nickname, I am not talking about baby or beautiful or sunshine or any of that other generic crap, okay? It has to be unique. In fact, my wife just told me that I used to call her kid and I used to give her this like weird cowboy wink nod thing like, hey kid. <laughs> I don't remember that, but no one had ever called her that obviously. So it ended up becoming unique and special to her because it came from me. And for those of you who don't know the story between me and my wife and how we met, we were just friends at the time. So I speak the truth here. If he calls you a fun, endearing name that you actually enjoy hearing him say, you can be sure he's putting in that extra bit of effort to show you he likes you. The third sign is he carefully curates communication. Carefully curates communication. Say that five times fast. So you might be asking yourself, what the heck is this? Well, a guy friend who's just a friend who is around you and talking to you isn't really paying attention to every little thing they're saying to you. But when a guy likes you, he's gonna audit his words and think about them first. And it may even make him a little nervous. So whether he's in person cleaning up his speech around you or his texts become these full, complete sentences that are really well thought out, it could be a serious sign of something more than just friends. The fourth sign is he's more interested in your schedule. Hey, what are you doing this weekend? You're not hanging out with any other guys or not Tyson or Paul? This one is pretty slick, and I've been known myself to do this one in my younger single days. Who are you hanging out with guy-wise other than me? Well, there's only one reason a guy wants to know that information. So he can know who he has to hate or be jealous of the next few weeks, of course. All because that guy isn't him. If you notice a guy friend is poking and prodding into your schedule a little more than a friend would, he's trying to size up his competition so that he can win you over romantically. The fifth sign is he invades your personal space. So as I make this video right now, we're still in quarantine. So this may be a little bit more relevant once we get out of that, but I didn't want to skip this sign. So guy friends will typically hug you when they see you or they're saying goodbye, right? Now every culture has their own thing that they do when it comes to this kind of friendship. 
In the US pre-quarantine, hugging is just very common here. But beyond that, there isn't much need to be in your friend's personal space. I mean, there really isn't. So if you notice a guy you know, or maybe even a guy you just met, start to enter your personal space, which is about one to two feet away from you, he's showing you that he feels a little more than friendly comfortable with you. The sixth sign is he'll test the relationship waters. I'm talking about things like flirting with you or even dropping mildly sexual comments or texts to you. Now, if he's just texting you gross sexual things, chances are he's not a friend or he's just trying to sleep with you. So a big old next to guys like that, okay? This is specifically for guys that started off on a friendly tone with you and then gradually and subtly started to change into this more flirtatious, semi-sexual mode with you. They want to see how you react to this change. If this is a welcome change of behavior, then flirt back. But once you go from friend to boyfriend, there is a risk. Once you go to boyfriend, it's really, really hard and probably not likely that you're going back to friends. The seventh sign is he plans out your get togethers. Ever have a guy friend who is just a good planner? I mean, you're friends, but it just seems so well thought out, your activity together. Kind of like a date. Well, chances are, if you two are alone together and this is happening, he might actually be wishing you two were dating. So if you guys are just hanging out, you guys are just hanging out, right? Yo, wanna get some food? Yo, wanna watch a movie? That's a friend. Wanna go on a little adventure with me this afternoon? Oh, the sights we will see. <laughs> little more than friends. If it feels like he's auditioning to be your boyfriend and he's doing a really good job at it, maybe it's time you consider giving him the part. The eighth sign is he attempts more physical contact. Next time you're with this guy, I want you to ask yourself, is he a little handsy? Guys who like you will have a very difficult time keeping their hands off of you. They'll brush their hand against your arm sometimes if they're talking to you, or put their hand on your back or your shoulder. If you've welcomed this touch with him with your eyes and you feel comfortable with it, great. But if his touch is not welcome and you're not comfortable with it, tell him not to touch you again and end the interaction with him immediately. We're all about keeping yourself and your environment safe on this channel. So if it doesn't feel right to you, make sure you speak up and you say no. The ninth sign is he feels out any jealousy. So this is actually the opposite of number four where he was feeling out your schedule. Because on this one, he flips it. He may start telling you about his schedule and start name dropping a few names of people he's been spending some time with recently. He's doing this because again, he's looking for a reaction from you to see if you're gonna get jealous or not with the people that he's named. And he's doing this because he wants to get a sense if you like him back in that way or not. So just let this sign jump right at you the next time it happens and you can say, Oh yeah, Ryan Patrick said this might happen, and here you are. The 10th sign is he'll future flash with you. Of course, future flashing. Ah, you gotta love this subconscious brain at work, don't you? Now future flashing is when he starts talking about the future and putting both you and him in the future storyline. Well, you know, if you don't get married and I don't get married, uh, we can make a deal and we could get married and have kids and live on the beach. Sound nice? He paints the picture of you two together. Just friends? Don't talk like that. Boys who really like you do talk like that. So if he likes you, he will always be making consistent effort with you. He will never be breadcrumbed, ghosted, flaked on, or ignored by the guy who is genuinely interested in you. Remember that. And now that you have all of these powerful signs, it is now time for you to go and get your big discount on the Boyfriend Blueprint. Enrollment is open right now. Remember, if you're watching this and it's Monday, August 17th, just use promo code EARLYBIRD and you'll get $160 off the price of the course. And if it's after Monday, August 17th, just use promo code BBYT100 and you'll get $100 off the cost of the course. Enrollment ends this Sunday, guys, so do not wait. Guys, I am so proud and excited of what's in this course and I hope you invest in your romantic success and just nail this part of your life once and for all. Guys, if you like this video, please give it a like below. It's launch week, baby. We got some surprises coming this week, so stay tuned.